the Megala Mukos of Kofan Kufpe Tess says that Moshe wanted to be Metakin Ber Kasaminim, the blessing in Shmona Esrei, where we um, daven to get rid of the people with amongst us who uh, negate and fight um, us ourselves and uh, deny Hashem. And Hashem tells Mo and that's why he wanted to go into Eretz Yisrael. That's why Moshe wanted to go into Eretz Yisrael. In order to fight it. And so Hashem says, Rav Lach, no, you are, have Nitzitz in every generation. And in the generation where they're going to be Mitak and Bir Kasaminim, you're going to have a man named Shmuel HaKaton. And Shmuel HaKaton is Roy Shetishra Shechina Olav Kedur Shelehillel. It's fitting that the Shechina should rest upon him. And therefore, Hashem tells him that he should strengthen Yehoshua. Chazkeu ve'amtseu b'gematria ruach atuma. She spala luhu aleim lahavidim to get rid of the ruach atuma that Yehoshua should daven, strengthen Yehoshua that he should be the one to daven to get rid of this tuma of the minim. V'hu lo yispala lehem, but Yehoshua did not daven for them. Yoshua binun in Sefer Nechemia. Yoshua is spelled Yoshua. Yud Vav Shin Ein without a hey. Why is the hey taken away from the name of Yehoshua? Because he didn't daven for the, the door of Shmuel Hakatan where they had Birka Saminim. Um, so we see that that's interesting that Yehoshua, that. Hoshea's name changed to Yehoshua. He was added a Yud. But because he didn't daven for Shmuel HaKotten, Birka Saminim, the, 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 the hay was taken away and he was, he, his name was changed to Yehoshua.